Hi guys. How are you today? This segment is brought to you today by Girl with a Cell Phone. That's right, Girl with a Cell Phone. Go and check her channel out on YouTube. I just came from there and she has phenomenal videos on there. Now I'm going to be leaving her a message. And I'm going to be telling her that you guys are coming her way. And again, like I said, girl with a cell phone. Awesome channel. I recommend it highly. Anyhow, back to what's at hand. My name is Philip Holmes. I am from Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada. And you're not. And today's word of the day, sentence of the day, anything of the day. I haven't really quite grasped that concept yet of what the letter of the day is going to be yet. V for Vendetta. <laughs> what? So, like I was saying, go and check out our channel. And I couldn't be more hyped or pumped about watching those videos on her channel and give her channel a thumbs up, subscribe, and leave a comment on some of her videos because she has some great content on there. Okay, I do appreciate it, guys. Um, now, anyways, on to the rest of the day. Today is Wednesday, the 6th, May 6th, May 6th, May. Undo 3, 4, 5, 6. May 6th. And isn't it truly unbelievable? Today is going to be five more days. Five more days. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, five more days until uh, my birthday. I am going to be 49 on May 11th. Almost 50. And I'm still going strong with the YouTube videos. I put out, I think, 12 or 13 videos today alone. And it's usually said upon my watching the tutorials about how to grasp and bring in people is four videos a day. I put out, I think, four videos a day. I have to double check that. And in triplicate, a, yeah. I have put out about 15, uh, no, this would be number 12, 12, the 12th video today, in one day today. And, and amongst the COVID virus, I'd like to talk about our illustrious, our illustrious leader of Manitoba. <laughs> He's opening up Winnipeg. He's opening up uh, downtown Winnipeg because... All he cares about is putting money into his own pocket. He doesn't care about anything else. And that's what really strikes me down because in the 90s, he was health care minister under Gary Fillman in the 1990s. Now, I had three beautiful friends that we're all studying nursing. And he asked the nursing in Manitoba and sent three of my friends, one down to the States, down to Minnesota to do continual nursing and the two others to Western Canada. Now all three of them, I still am in contact with them and all three of them said, we're never coming back to Winnipeg or Manitoba. Uh, because this clown is in power, and uh, this clown that they call Palliser, I think that's his name, he owns Palliser Furniture. I don't recommend it. Don't go and buy furniture from them. They're, they're conservatives, and they don't mean well. So I don't recommend it. But I do recommend Girl with a Cell Phone. Go and check her site out. Go and check her channel out, I mean. Pardon me. And back to Palliser, back to the government. He... 
sent three of my my friends really good friends to uh different parts of the world and they're not ever coming back i already said that because uh Philman and palliser axed the nursing and you know that's messing with people's lives and when it came to the pipeline yes i'm going to attack the pipeline because i'm against the pipeline as you can see because i'm indigenous i'm native aboriginal because i know my rights and having a leader so obnoxious so obtuse and so not level-headed is beyond me. He's 10 times worse than Philman. And he had the audacity to call the protesters, which is our Canadian right to protest, a two-tier justice system. Now calling some, some group or minority a two-tier justice system is like calling us terrorists, which Brian Marooney did in the 1990s, 1991, when Olka, Quebec was going on, called my people terrorists right across Canada. There will not be any terrorists allowed in this great country we call Canada. <clears throat> so it was very sickening, these, these kind of types of power-hungry cops, conservatives, politicians that we have in this country. And sometimes when I hear that, and even when I heard that, this is where a two-tier justice system made me physically ill in my stomach and made me ashamed to be a Canadian. A real shame to be a Canadian because I hear that kind of nonsense coming out of somebody's mouth. That they're so dense in the head that they can't figure figure it out and put two syllables together and rub them together and see what happens you know anyways that's my rant for today thank you very much for joining me thank you very much for being here i appreciate everything that you guys have done i really really do so thank you very much and is there something wrong with my eyes no <laughs>